What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equala Espresso and welcome to today's video Now today we got another prestige stats and review video for you But this one's a little different because I totally forgot to do my last prestige It was one of those things where it was almost like a filler content video And I wanted to wait and put it up whenever I um Whenever I needed a video like I didn't have one for a day But it just kept getting away from me and away from me and even though this one took a while to com like for me to actually complete this this prestige because I haven't played Call of Duty as much, um, it just got pushed to the back. So realistically, from the last prestige stats and video, we've gone through two prestiges. So uh, I do apologize for that, but we're gonna skip over whatever that was. I think it might have been like s five or six. I don't even remember. But um, we're on the new prestige here, and firstly, let's just see. How long this took to complete so this one we said whenever I made this video it was my best record It was 10 hours and 53 minutes this one I beat it just barely 10 hours and 43 minutes So as you can see literally a 10 minute difference now this one. I don't know what it is yet So let's take a look Nine hours 34 minutes the new record is standing with Prestige what is that one two three four five six six okay cool um and yeah so let's take a look at some of the stats real quick before we get into anything and leaderboards wins i brought my win loss ratio up a lot um per, like in the past couple weeks to months i'm pretty proud of it now it started at like a 0.6 something because i rage quit so much but i decided to stay in it and i got the uh the the win streak up and as you can see I have the longest win streak out of any of my friends Simply because there was a glitch in the system and I think it still is there actually I just haven't gone for a high win streak um, But if you were to back out of a game it wouldn't count against your win streak It would count as a loss still but it would not count against you as like a loss towards your streak So it wouldn't start your streak over so what I did for a while, and this is kind of cheating, I know. Um, a lot of the games, though, I did actually win. I think I only, like, out of the 100 wins that I, like, was going for initially, I think I backed out of, like, maybe 10 to 15 games total. So, I ended up winning a lot, but there were times where that streak would have been broken if I did not back out, or if I did just not rage quit. But, we ended up getting the streak to 176. I was playing my luck a lot, because at that point in time, I was like, you know what, the streak is already the longest on my friends list tremendously, so we're going to play it right to the very end, and we ended up losing this domination match 200-199. to 199. It was a last second comeback, so that's where it broke, and that's where it stands. So, let's go over to the kills category. I'm bringing my ratio up to a 1.75. Uh, still not up there. Rick is still a 1.97. He's still above me there. Uh, average kills, he's still beating me out in there, but my streak is better, so gommel, Rick, gommel. Actually, I should maybe say that he's played less time than me, and he still has more kills than me. So, there's always that. <laughs> Score, I, we totally forgot to look at this, but we just passed the five-day threshold. We have 2,249,962 score, average score of 1,200, or at 1,521. Sorry, my control freak fell off, so I was kind of uh, not paying attention there. Um, and let's see, accuracy is... In the 21 percentile um, ooh, double tap B uh, the game modes that I've really been playing are domination which it's still rightfully so up there Rick still got me beat on that I don't know why my B is double tapping um, and then kill confirmed is what I've been playing a lot as well and I've moved myself up to, into the top hundred thousand and second on my friends list here so we're playing a lot of that and it's carrying over into a lot of um, awesome gameplays because uh, of the new recent update was the fact that you could actually get rewarded for playing objectively so that's always nice you get more towards your score streaks and you know what let's change this over now we are going to play oh we got to unlock this for 300 squad points I don't like that I don't like that all these were like three and then bang 300 and then 400 and then 500 but we're getting close to the end of the game guys that is almost where we stand um, we are getting very close to finishing this game and being max prestige so let's do that uh the first one that i want to play as is the uh vector and play as this squad member so there we go we are now a new prestige and wow i didn't realize my uh oh wait yeah i did i just played a flawless 15 and no game uh in domination that i joined late so 
that's the quick rundown of my stats. Current win streak is 21, actually, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Remington R5 is almost precise. I haven't used the Remington in almost about a month, though. So that's where we stand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you would like that, I always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best Call of Duty Ghost content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. And stay tuned for more Call of Duty Ghost stuff. I don't know when this is actually going to go up, to be honest with you. So I may as well say the date. I prestiged on 4-12-14. So there we go. That's awesome. This is probably going to be some filler content for whenever I need it. But yeah. Prestige stats and review. Prestige 6 or 7. I don't know what we're on anymore. Uh, the, the way this is handled this game is a little different than the last. But whatever. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.